What is the primary goal of ethical hacking? A. To exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain B. To disrupt computer systems and networks C. To identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses in systems and networks D. To develop malicious software. Answer. C. To identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses in systems and networks. Which of the following is the first phase of ethical hacking? A. Exploitation B. Enumeration C. Reconnaissance D. Social engineering. Answer. C. Reconnaissance. What type of attack involves flooding a target system with excessive traffic to disrupt its normal functioning? A. Phishing attack B. Buffer overflow attack C. Denial of service. DOS. Attack D. SQL injection attack. Answer. C. Denial of service. DOS. Attack. What is the purpose of network scanning in ethical hacking? A. To gather information about target systems B. To exploit vulnerabilities C. To intercept network traffic D. To encrypt data transmissions. Answer. A. To gather information about target systems. Which of the following best describes vulnerability assessment? A. Exploiting vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access B. Identifying and quantifying vulnerabilities in systems and networks C. Testing the effectiveness of security controls D. Monitoring network traffic for suspicious activity. Answer. B. Identifying and quantifying vulnerabilities in systems and networks. What is social engineering in the context of ethical hacking? A. Exploiting human psychology to manipulate individuals B. Exploiting software vulnerabilities C. Intercepting network traffic D. Cracking passwords using brute force. Answer. A. Exploiting human psychology to manipulate individuals. What is the primary purpose of a firewall in network security? A. To filter and monitor network traffic B. To encrypt data transmissions C. To authenticate users D. To detect and remove malware. Answer. A. To filter and monitor network traffic. What is SQL injection, and how can it be mitigated? A. A method for intercepting network traffic. It can be mitigated by using encryption B, A type of DOS attack. It can be mitigated by implementing rate limiting C, A technique for manipulating a database. It can be mitigated by using parameterized queries D, a form of social engineering. It can be mitigated by user education. Answer. C. A technique for manipulating a database. It can be mitigated by using parameterized queries. What is the purpose of a honeypot in cybersecurity? A. To detect and remove malware B. To simulate a target system for attackers C. To authenticate users D. To encrypt data transmissions. Answer. B. To simulate a target system for attackers. What is the main difference between vulnerability assessment and penetration testing? A. Vulnerability assessment focuses on exploiting vulnerabilities, while penetration testing focuses on identifying vulnerabilities. B. Vulnerability assessment is automated, while penetration testing requires manual intervention. C. Vulnerability assessment identifies and quantifies vulnerabilities, while penetration testing attempts to exploit those vulnerabilities. D. Vulnerability assessment is conducted internally, while penetration testing is conducted externally. Answer. C. Vulnerability assessment identifies and quantifies vulnerabilities, while penetration testing attempts to exploit those vulnerabilities. What is a buffer overflow vulnerability, and how can it be exploited? A. A vulnerability that allows an attacker to intercept network traffic. It can be exploited using a man-in-the-middle attack. B. A vulnerability that allows an attacker to execute arbitrary code. It can be exploited by overriding a buffer with malicious data. C. A vulnerability that allows an attacker to bypass authentication. It can be exploited using brute force. D. A vulnerability that allows an attacker to gain unauthorized access to a database. It can be exploited using SQL injection. Answer. B. A vulnerability that allows an attacker to execute arbitrary code. It can be exploited by overriding a buffer with malicious data. What is the purpose of cryptographic hashing in cybersecurity? A. To encrypt data transmissions B. To authenticate users C. To securely store passwords D. To filter and monitor network traffic. Answer. C. To securely store passwords. What is the main difference between symmetric and asymmetric encryption? 
A. Symmetric encryption uses two keys, while asymmetric encryption uses one key. B. Symmetric encryption is faster than asymmetric encryption. C. Symmetric encryption is more secure than asymmetric encryption. D. Symmetric encryption uses the same key for both encryption and decryption, while asymmetric encryption uses a pair of keys. Answer. D. Symmetric encryption uses the same key for both encryption and decryption, while asymmetric encryption uses a pair of keys. What is a man in the middle, my DM, attack, and how can it be prevented? A. An attack where an attacker intercepts and alters communication between two parties. It can be prevented by using encryption and digital signatures. B. An attack where an attacker floods a target system with excessive traffic. It can be prevented by implementing rate limiting. C. An attack where an attacker gains unauthorized access to a database. It can be prevented by using strong passwords. D. An attack where an attacker exploits a vulnerability in a web application. It can be prevented by applying security patches. Answer. A. An attack where an attacker intercepts and alters communication between two parties. It can be prevented by using encryption and digital signatures. What is the role of a proxy server in network security? A. To filter and monitor network traffic B. To encrypt data transmissions C. To simulate a target system for attackers D. To authenticate users. Answer. A. To filter and monitor network traffic. Thank you for watching Cyber Trainer. Like and subscribe.